What is going on guys, Money Webby here, back again on Wednesday, we got a nice 11 game Slater tonight, coming off a solid night with the plays yesterday, especially with the pitchers, uh, Severino and Freddie Peralta both had very good nights, hitters not as much throughout, uh, Jake Lama that gave us a good night, Kike Hernandez, pretty good for the value, but Gallo and Perella let me down on yesterday's slate, but let's try to see if we can have just a round beautiful pl place throughout and all these guys hopefully can give us some production i love all these guys uh currently so my money six two pitchers three hitters and a value batter so go ahead and drop a like before we get going uh to show some support so i can keep these videos coming to you every single day let's see if we can get over 100 likes in this one we weren't able to hit it yesterday uh but let's see if we can get it done here tonight so i'm gonna hop into it though with my first pitcher being the bum garner here at 11,200, going against Colorado, had a very good outing last time out against San Diego. Uh, he won eight innings. Uh, he was able to just really find that strike zone consistently and got 35 drafting points. So it seems like he sh he's shaking off that rust that he had from the beginning of uh, his return back from the DL where he was struggling a bit in his first couple outings. But it seems like he's turned the corner here recently and this is a pretty good matchup here colorado they are good against lefties but this is a big part downgrade and what they usually do against lefties is just hit for extreme power with guys like trevor story and nolan arenado but now they're in a park where it's harder to hit for home runs uh, and just hit for power and they're much more uh and they're pretty strikeout prone on the road and stuff like that they're hitting just goes way down on the road especially in san fran which is one of the best pitchers park pitcher parks and all of baseball so i love Bumgarner here in this match should be some good bvp and this includes like some games in course field as well he has a 250 batting average allowed to them and a 23.7 percent uh, k rate and 232 plate appearances so he's seen these guys a lot he knows what uh to expect from them and i think he can have a very good outing here Again, here in San Fran, Colorado only projected around 3.2 runs. So I think Bumgarner, in for another good start here, can definitely go deep in the game. He's pitched 100-plus uh, pitchers the last two games. So that's a very good sign. It seems like the rust is off, like I mentioned. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there as my first pitcher. Like, there's not many safe guys, really. Uh, Robbie Wright, he's probably going to be in a pitch count here in this game against Miami. So I don't feel safe going against... Uh, I mean, going with him, uh, tough matchup for Flaherty against Cleveland. Uh, Gibson, normally not a good pitcher. He's been up and down uh, throughout his career. He's had a good start to this year, but I'm not really buying into it. And Porcello has a pretty tough matchup going against the Angels. Bieber, he has some upside, but again, another tough matchup against St. Louis. I'm looking at Alex Wood here going against the Cubs. Uh, he had a very good matchup or a very good start against the Mets last time out. Good for 23 drafting points. And uh, I read a report on him that he feels like he's kind of out of that uh, tough stretch. It seems like he's getting over the hump, he feels like, and he feels much better on the mound after that last start. He did have a hamstring injury, uh, which kind of hindered him for a few starts here. But it seems like he's back to 100%. After that start against the Mets, he's looking back to his old self. That 2017 form we saw from Alex Wood. So hopefully we can get that again here in the start against the Cubs. And the part that I really love about this matchup is that Chris Bryant's going to be out, who's their best left-handed pitcher by far. So you don't have to worry about him. And he does have some solid BVP against these guys. A 217 batting average allowed to them and a 22 percent k rate and 53 plate appearance it's not a huge sample but i think alex wood can just get it uh get it done here in la uh cubs a park downgrade here going from wrigley to dodger stadium so pretty good pitchers park as well here i think alex wood in line for another good start i think he can reach 20 plus drafting points again here and his price is pretty solid 8200 uh, yeah, I think he can return some good value on that, and he can definitely get the win. Uh, Dodgers have been just playing very well recently, getting a lot of wins, and like Hendricks on the other side of the mound, he hasn't been pitching that well this season. So Alex Wood, I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there, and that gets you up to 3,800 remaining per player with those two pitchers. Both those guys can go for 20 uh, plus drafting points, and Bumgarner honestly could reach like close to 30 in that matchup. So I love those two guys. I feel very safe with both of them. And for my first hitter, I'm going to go with Adrian Belch right here at 4,000. He hasn't been able to really reach that full power we've seen from him in his career, uh, but he has been hitting the ball very well just for batting average and having some solid hits. So against lefties, he's very good, good against them in his career. Looking at his numbers against them in 2017, when he was able to hit for more power, he had a 254 ISO. 
a 464 Woba against them. So extremely good numbers against lefties. And we're talking a big part downgrade for Clayton Richards, the lefty for San Diego. It's going to be 100 degrees uh, most likely in this game in Texas. So it's going to be very tough for him to keep the balls in the park. So I think Beltre, one of the better left-handed pitchers on this Texas lineup, is one of the best plays, I think, here. I think he can really take advantage of this part downgrade for Richards and just get to him. Uh, very good against the lefties, like I mentioned. He's still hitting for great average against lefties. I believe his batting average is around like 330 against them this season. But he hasn't been able to get that power. Still hitting the ball hard. I think this matchup could be a game where he just gets those extra base hits, like maybe a double or two, and maybe even a home run. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. Uh, he's 4000 I think that's a very good price tag. And for my second guy... Will Myers, the theme of this video is pretty much this Texas-San Diego game. It's just so hot and such great hitting conditions here, especially for right-handed batters against the lefties. So Will Myers here, uh, he's had a slow start to the season because he did get hurt, and he just came back, but he had a good night last night, 2 for 4 with the double, 12 draft game points. And this guy's just a very good hitter. He can get some stolen bases, and he can hit for power. And looking at his numbers, in 2017 against lefties, he had a 207 ISO and a 52% hard hit rate against lefties. So he was absolutely crushing the ball against them last season. And Mike Miner, uh, he allows most of his production to right-handed batters, so you really want to attack them or attack him with these right-handed batters like Will Myers. And another guy that I'm going to mention right after this, they're projected 4.6 runs. So San Diego, big park upgrade. Will Myers and these guys in the middle of the order, I think, can really get it done against Mike Miner, who isn't a good pitcher. So I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. This is my second guy. For my third guy, like I mentioned, Hunter Renfro at 3,900 going against the lefty. A uh, very good matchup. Renfro is very good against lefties. He's a 255 ISO against them and a 409 Wilba this season against lefties. And uh, in, his, in his time, it's short standing in, in Texas here. He already has two doubles and uh, some good production. So I think he can have another solid outing here. Mike Miner doesn't really strike out that many batters. And that's the biggest issue with Renfro. It's striking out. He's much better against the lefties, like I mentioned. And the park upgrade, he can really take advantage of that power that he has in this Texas ballpark with the nice hitting conditions and everything considered. So Renfro, I'm going to go ahead and lock him in there. And that really completes a nice San Diego Texas stack there, and he's still got good money left over. And for my value guy to even get you some more money, Logan Morrison, uh, 3,300, going against James Shields. We saw last year how bad Shields was against lefties. He's been much improved this year against lefties, but against Logan Morrison in this matchup, I think he can get it done here uh, at 3,300. Doesn't need to do much to return value. I think he has that power upside against Shields. He's seen him a good amount, 8 for 27. Uh, with three doubles and one home run. So some good power against them in his BVP. And uh, they're projected 4.8 runs. So they like this Twins lineup a good amount. And Morrison should be around that five spot. So he has some RBI opportunities there in this matchup against Shields. And similarly uh, to Renfro, Logan Morrison does struggle with the Ks. But Shields isn't that good of a strikeout pitcher. So I think Logan Morrison can get the ball in the bat. And hopefully the ball just lands his way. Just gets that extreme power that he is capable of in this matchup against Shields get the ball to drop hit hit the get the ball to drop hit some line drives maybe even a home run in this match I'm at 3300 love the value so I'm gonna go ahead and lock him in there to complete the plays and that gets you up to 3700 remaining for player so still some good money left over Bumgarner, Alex Wood, Logan Morrison, Adrian Beltre, Will Myers, and Hunter Renfro. So some good, solid plays throughout. All these guys have good upside, especially on their price tag. So good value throughout. So go ahead and drop a like in the video, though, before you head out. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate that. 100 plus likes, like I mentioned. And hit that subscribe button as well if you happen to be new to the channel or just uh, haven't hit it yet. Just be sure to do that so you can get these videos every single day. You can hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button to get alerted every time I upload these videos. So do all that good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I wish you guys the best of luck on this 11-game slate. Let's take home some money here tonight. And, uh, yeah, let's have a good one. Uh, so good luck. We'll see you back here again tomorrow, guys.